everyone, John Christensen here from Avid Customer Success. So shooting with multiple cameras has some great advantages. Continuity is consistent and one performance can be captured from various angles. But editing with multiple cameras is also great and it can happen all at once too. That's what we'll focus on for this Avid tutorial, going through the process of multicam editing in Media Composer and Symphony. Multicam editing is very efficient but there are a few things that must be done to prepare for it. First thing that must be done is to sync any different angles of the same event together. This can be done with the start of clips, in points, out points, or timecode. If you have proper timecode that matches up for your clips, go with that. If there isn't any timecode for your clips, say like with DSLR footage, just follow what I'll do here with in and out points. For the sake of the tutorial, we'll use these points, but just know you can sync the exact same way with timecode minus the marks. So if you have a slate, that's a great place to sync points together with. Out points are also useful if you have a tail slate. If you don't have a slate, you can find a point where there's a quick change in volume. In my clips, I have a clap that I'm going to use. So if you hit caps lock, it toggles the audio scrubbing feature. And then I'm going to move forward. And there it is. I'm going to put an I there. And then I'm going to move on to the other ones. As you can see here, I have my bins set up so I can easily grab clips, open them up, and move them around as I please. This is all about flow. Having flow when you're editing saves you a ton of time. So having them on the left here really helps me with that. And there's the last one. Now that the rest of the marks are in, all the clips have a point we can sync them together with. Just to keep things easy, I like to make a temp bin that will host the files while I group them so that I can keep track of where they are. I've also made a group bin which will hold any finished group clips I put together. This is handy if you want to group a bunch of takes, put them in one place, and then pick and choose what you want. So you want to drag those clips into the temp bin, highlight them all, and then you go to the fast menu here, and then click group clips. It works kind of similar to auto sync. Choose the way you want to sync clips. In our case we're going to use in points, out points are also an option, and this is where you'd select time code if you wanted to do it like that. Hit OK. And Avid has made a new group clip right here. You can tell it's a group clip because it has a quad split icon. If I double click on that, nothing is going to change. It's just going to show one clip. This is because we haven't set up our monitor to change to a quad split. From here, you probably want to put your other clips back where they belong. A to A, B to B, C to C. And then I'm going to put this group clip in my groups bin. From here, there are a few shortcuts you can make to streamline the process. Before we start anything, let's make some buttons a little more accessible. To edit buttons, open up the command palette. You can do that by hitting command 3 or control 3. There's your command palette there. You can also find that in the tools section of your menu. Make sure button to button reassignment is selected here. And then navigate yourself over to the MCAM tab. MCAM is for multicam. Click on that. On your left column, you have different ways that it will show you the video. On the right here, it'll have all the buttons that you can use to switch between the cameras. What we're going to do is we're going to grab the quad split button, bring that up to an empty button, or you can replace something else, and simply let go of it. Now we have a quad split toggle. We're also going to open up the keyboards menu here in the settings tab. Keyboard. Double click on that. And then you want to add your camera buttons to any buttons on the keyboard. You can choose whichever keys you want. I'm just going to go with M, comma, period, slash. So multicam 1, that will go on my M. Just drag and drop. 2, 3, and 4. And once you have those, you can actually close these windows. I'm going to click the quad split button I mapped out down here. And just like that, Avid takes all the clips and shows them to you all at once. If you hit play, you can see if they all play at the same time. Just like that. If they don't sync up, you have to go back, see if your endpoints are correct. If they do sync up, you're ready to move on to the next step. The next step, of course, is finding an endpoint you want to start the clips with. Find that endpoint. Mine's actually going to be back here. I'm going to put my mark there. And then you can use B to edit a straight edit right into the timeline. If you just wanted the whole thing, you could hit T, and it would put an in and out point at the beginning and end of all the clips. So I'm going to hit B now. And there I have it. There's my clip and I'm going to bring my clip all the way to the left. All you have to do is hit play, and when you want to switch to different angles, you press the specific key map to that angle. 
Avid will do the switching for you and when you stop playback all the changes will be made. This is set up like this so when I show you my multicam tutorial I can look to the right one and you'll see it and then the center and then the left. Alrighty, that's it. And see just like that it put all the edits in. Multicam tutorial, I can look to the right one and you'll see it and then the center and then the left. If you want to change things manually, you can actually go to the specific clip, right click on it, and change things from there. You can also do this for audio. If you want to add an edit somewhere, you can do the add edit button and then use the same functions that you've been using down here. And that's it, multicam editing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, see you next time.